Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> you want to go out there and fly in the city with your, maybe your sub 250 gram DJI Mini 4 Pro. If you're going to do that following the rules, you might run into problems. Because if we look up the requirements for night flight through the EASA library, we would see that uh, there is an annex to implementing the regulations at 29947 UAS operations in the open and specific category. And if we search for night here, there'll basically be two entries. One that will say, okay, night operations, and one that will tell us that when operating at night, we need to ensure that a green flashing light on the unmanned aircraft is activated. And I've been doing a fair amount of research and I came up with this little device. I actually use that on my Air 3 on a regular basis uh, to sort of comply with these uh, requirements when I was inside Copenhagen to film on a, <laughs> a gig that I was hired to uh, at night time. This is a very lightweight device that you can make blink in all sorts of colors, but it needs to blink green. And I think I can make it do that. I, I know I can make it do that. So, so now it's flashing green. So by putting this device onto your drone, this really lightweight device onto your drone, you should comply with the EU regulations. The problem is that even though I've been doing quite some extensive uh, research on this, it's very, very difficult to find one that is uh, less than uh, five grams. Bear in mind, this scale is maybe not the most accurate in the world, but at least it would give us uh, some sort of indication. And if we just weigh this one, clocks in at six gram. And uh, if you have a drone like uh, the Mini 4 Pro, and we strip it from all the stuff that does not need to be there when we are flying, and weigh that on the scale as well. So you can see if I add the light on top of uh, my Mini 4 Pro, you can see that now the weight exceeds the 250 grams, which is a very, very well-defined limit and will make the drone change in terms of how it's perceived in the legislation. You could always argue that this is stupid, uh, yes and no. So don't kill me, I'm just a messenger, but adding the required lights that you need to have on the drone will bring the drone above 250 grams. Does this mean that you will not be able to fly your mini drone at night? No, not at all. It just means that if uh, you exceed, sort of modify the drone above uh, the 250 grams, it's no longer a C0 drone. And no, it's not becoming a C1 drone. You are not allowed to modify the drone at all. And if you do, that just means that uh, you would basically a trunk or invalidate the C0 labeling of the drone. This basically means that this falls into sort of the legacy drone category and uh, it will move from being able to fly in the A1 airspace, which is sort of very, very easy on what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do and move into the A3 airspace where you have to keep 150 meters horizontal distance to buildings and such. So you can still fly the drone nighttime, but not in urban areas. So that is of course super annoying. And uh, you might say, yeah, but there are green lights already uh, on the drone. Uh, why can't we just use those? So as you can see, it actually has a flashing green light. And if we just launch the drone, you see now it's up in the air. See, it's very easy to spot it in the sky right now. Also, if I turn the drone around, it's visible, visible 360 around the drone. Even though I put it down here in this position, I'm gonna start the recording. See, the lights are being turned off. So this is uh, basically a problem because this uh, means that you would have to uh, mount one of these external lights on the drone to make it compliant to fly in nighttime. And uh, if you do that, you will lose the C0 label on the drone and it will be a plus 250 gram legacy drone, which means that it would need to fly in A3 if you're going to use your Mini 4 Pro legally flying nighttime.